Hi everybody, my name is Elise Swopes and I am a visual storyteller from Chicago. I specialize in influencer marketing. I create surreal edits with my phone and I creative direct social media campaigns. This Start With Stock episode is inspired by the Adobe Stock Remix program, where you have the opportunity to win some really amazing prizes. Simply remix an asset with Adobe Stock and tag it with hashtag Adobe Stock Remix and you're entered to win. To jumpstart your imagination, let's start with an asset I shot of a foggy day in Chicago, my favorite. And we'll use Adobe Stock to remix it. I'll also be editing with Photoshop for iPad. So, shall we get started? Let's go. I'm lucky to live in a city I don't have to pretend that I like. There's a lot to play with. My favorite type of weather is the weather people mostly complain about. Foggy, rainy, snowy. I shoot most of my photos with my phone and today's no different. Before we get into this edit, let's go find our Adobe Stock assets. So let's go to adobestock.com. So I'll search a very specific name because I know exactly what asset I'm looking for. There is the asset that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that asset. But what I wanna show you is how to save that asset to a specific library to open up in Photoshop. To library, you see it'll open up at the top, manage, and it'll save directly to start with stock, which is great. If you wanted to create a new library, you could do Fog Forest, click OK, and once you go into Photoshop, click Add Image, go to your libraries, and you'll see Fog Forest is right there. Let's resize our Adobe Stock asset. Then let's duplicate that layer, and let's go ahead and mask this layer. Do a gradient. And you'll go back to that layer that you hid, move it around resize it, maybe flip it, resize this canvas, we can see what we're doing. And then I'll do a mask on this one as well, do another gradient. Like you can draw a little bit, change the opacity, change the hardness, change the size. Now what we want to do is go to our original asset, the photo that I shot, go to add clipped adjustment, go to color balance. Let's change it a little bit bluer. Let's match those Adobe stock assets. Now I also, for perspective, I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur to that foreground image. we want to add another layer, which is going to be our bird layer. So I've got an asset ready to go, but let's go ahead and search it through Adobe Stock. It's eagle flying away. Go. This is perfect. License that already. I'm gonna go ahead and save this to a library. Save it to start with stock. Go to Photoshop, add that layer, start with stock, bird is ready to go. Now the great thing about Photoshop is it's got this really great selection tool where you can go here, select subject, and it'll select the bird within that asset. So I'm gonna go ahead and mask out the blue. And I'll also add own clip adjustment, change the color balance to match the rest. Now the cool part about this is that we'll be able to send this over to Lightroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this image and send it to the Lightroom app. I like playing with PNGs, large file size, export. Let's take it into Lightroom. So it's ready to go in my Lightroom app. Go into the settings, do a little auto adjust. Check out some profiles. Really like this blue. I'm gonna play with the color a little bit. Maybe change the hue a tiny bit. I'll also add some effects, maybe add some grain to bring it all together. I'm gonna export to my camera roll. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I hope I've inspired you to enter into the challenge because I'm telling you these prizes are absolutely insane and you don't wanna miss all the fun. So be sure to download an asset for yourself and start the remix.